Well, good morning. Welcome to Green Valley United Methodist Church. My name is Mark Maddox. I'm the senior pastor here. Our associate pastor, Pastor Mike, is on medical leave now for about the next month or so as he works with his hip and he has surgery for that. But I am excited to be here this morning. You might notice something a little different than usual. Uh, about once a year on World Communion Sunday, which this is, I like to make sure that I'm robed. The choir will be robed today as well, too, as we celebrate the communion we have with Christ and with each other and Christians throughout the world. And it's something we truly celebrate. Would you join me for a word of prayer? Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this day. And God, we think about the Christians throughout the world who are joining together to celebrate Holy Communion together with us, with the body of Christ throughout the world. God, bless this day, bless this service, help us open our hearts up to you, and help us truly realize that you are in our lives today and forevermore. Amen. I invite you to stand as you're able and join me in the call to worship. One bread, one body. Let us join with Christians throughout the world. Please be seated. Our first scripture reading today is from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 4 through 7. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function, so we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry in ministering, the teacher in teaching. The word of God for the people of God.
As we think of coming to the table, as the choir just sung in the anthem, coming to Christ, it's a time to open our hearts up to how God may be leading us and guiding us and touching us in our lives. Let's go to the Lord now in word of prayer, if you join me, please. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for this day, this day that we've woken up and got out of bed and came to worship you. A time of rest from the craziness of life, a time where we unplug from the TV and unplug from our phones and just take an hour and worship you, God. So God, help us during this hour. Realize that we should worship you throughout the week. We should unplug from life a lot more often and draw closer to you. For God, you touch us in so many ways. You lead us, you guide us, you strengthen us. And so God, help us open our hearts up to you more than just an hour a week, but every day. And God, we thank you that we can be here today to worship you and honor you in this place, in this public place place filled with music and song and people with hearts turned towards you. And God, as we think about World Communion Sunday and Christians throughout the world joining together to draw closer to each other, to draw closer to you, and to draw closer to us, help us embrace them as well through our hearts, through our prayers, and our thoughts. That we realize that we're all in this together, God. All Christians throughout the world are united by you. And so, God, we celebrate the joys we have in our lives, the, the things that we have that we just make us happy, the people who just warm our hearts. And, God, it's just a day where we can just reflect and remember all that is good in our lives. Even if we're going through hard times, there's still some joy that we can find. Help us find that joy, God, even during those hardest and darkest of times. For God, I hold in my hand right here a couple prayer requests with people going through operations and the fear that comes with that, the fear of the unknown. And God, we lift them up to you and ask for healing to be upon them, for the doctors and nurses to give them the care they need, that their hands may be guided by yours. God, we reflect and remember that no matter what it is we're going through today, for each of us do go through something at some point, that God, no matter what it is we're going through, that you are with us today, now, and here. For God, we are never alone because of the gift of what your Son has given us, that bridging of the gap between you and us, and that gift of life everlasting, the hope that begins right here, right now. So God, we gather this morning as a community of faith connected with Christians throughout the world, connected by you. And God, as a community of faith this morning, we come together and we pray that prayer to which Jesus taught his disciples to pray by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
Luke chapter 22, verse 19 and 20. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same thing with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood, the word of God for the people of God. <laughs> 